Hey, what's up everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from the division to weekly vendor reset. Well, guys, there's no maintenance or anything, which is good. We also have the golden bullet a global event, which I know most of you guys like, so it's starting. So you should uh you know do that. And uh yeah, let's get rid of these vendors real quick. So, first thing item, we have the cherished chest piece, the named Habsburg chest piece. Comes the perfect trauma talent. We have hazard protection maxed out here and health on it. Uh, police UMP45 SMG with reformation talent. We have swap speed here, learn point one percent. The F2000 assault rifle with sadist talent, but we have damage to target out of cover. Now that's good. So that now allows you to change the talent to whatever you want, uh, which is good. It's a good uh, assault rifle there, you know. So definitely pick it up if you want to use it. Next we have the profit um, pistol here with perfect determined talent. We have nine percent of headshot damage, ten point two pistol damage. The Oriol D holdings a backpack here with combined arm style and we have status effect here 8.2% and 10% skill haste with 10.6% uh, of weapon damage. Overload ornament chest piece with glass cannon talent. We have skill damage here 9.4%, 10.3 status effects and 12% of weapon damage. Offensive protocol mod with crit chance here 4.4%, a drone mod with 4.2 damage, a turret mod with plus one extra sniper ammo, and a sticky launcher mod with 4% of burn duration. Alrighty, guys, we're here at the countdown vendor, so let's take a look. We got the Garage SMG, comes with a perfect Vindictive Talent, of course. We got damage to target out of cover here already, so that's nice. You know, saves you uh, from recalibrating anything here, because this is just uh, what you need. I mean, you could still do that to max out an attribute, so you don't have to spend much resources in it. You know, and Perfect Vindictive is a great talent uh, for, you know, uh, a support, basically. You can give that crit chance of crit damage to your entire group, not only just yourself. Uh, you can spread that to your entire group. All you need is a you know, uh, status effect kill, which you can easily get it from, like, uh, ongoing directive or even Eclipse Protocol, you know, uh, you could do that. And next, we have the uh, Courier Backpack with Perfect Creeping Death Talent. We have Repair Skill here maxed out and uh, Skill Damage here, 7%. We got a Gift Backpack. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay, Headshot Damage here this time. I mean, it's not that bad. If you're using, let's say, on a rifle build or a marksman rifle build, which, again, I made it on my channel already where I was using the Gift Backpack. Uh, so, yeah, this would be a perfect one for that build uh, you can change the health to like uh weapon handling and then add a headshot damage mod and you can use it or if you want to use it on a crit build you can also do that change the health to crit chance of crit damage and yeah it's a good backpack definitely pick it up so yeah that's that and obviously you have all your caches Alrighty, guys we're here at the clan vendors let's take a look we got the new reliable lmg comes with obviously the perfectly optimized talent we have stability here which can be changed to damage to armor that's amazing lmg i always say that i really love this one so if you want to use it you can use it uh, trust me, you're going to feel so great with this LMG. Just give it a try. And next we have the uh, Zero uh, holster here with uh, skill damage on it, 8.3%. It's been a while since I've seen this uh, particular gear set available at the vendor. Uh, we got a Striker chest piece here with 6.5% uh, weapon handling, 11.9 weapon damage. Aces and 8 gloves here with 12.1 weapon damage, 7.7 .7 skill haze. We got the Stoner LMG with Sledgehammer Talon with swap speed here, 13%, uh, which again, you can change to damage to armor. But then you have Sledgehammer, which is uh, kind of sad. I mean, uh, previously they had a fixed talent, but then, you know, they made sure that now it drops with random talent, uh, which kind of hurts for this LMG particularly, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. We got the X45 Tactical Pistol with the uh, close and personal talent. We got maxed out crit damage, 9.7% of pistol damage. We have the Orioldi holding holster here with the uh, web. I mean, this is actually a good holster. If, you, if you're making a Max Marvel build and you want a piece of uh, Orioldi in it or two pieces of it because, you know, it gives you damage, uh, sorry, uh, headshot damage. Uh, this would be a perfect holster for that because, you know, weapon handling, weapon damage uh, already present. Obviously, you can change the explosive resistance to headshot damage and you're good to go, right? We have the classic M44 Carmine Max Rifle with range of talent, magazine size here, 9.5%. A PP19 SMG with range of talent here as well. We got health damage, 7.5% on it. Uh, Fenris holster with 11.6 uh, weapon damage, armor region there, and skill haste, 10.3%. 511 tactical backpack with adrenaline rush talent. We got skill uh, haste here, 10.8%, and health on it. A defensive protocol mod with 8.9 disorient resistance. Utility protocol mod with 16.6 repair skill. A utility system mod with 17.2 repair skill. And a drone mod with plus two extra bombs. Alrighty, guys, we're here at the uh, Theater Settlement, so let's take a look. We got the Artistis tool, comes with the perfect rifleman talent. We have a headshot damage in 9%. A tactical Super 90 SBA shotgun with Optimus talent, damage to target out of cover, 8% there, 8% of damage to armor, 11.4 shotgun damage. A lightweight M4 rifle with future perfect talent, 9% of headshot damage on it. Uh, Douglas and Harding gloves with 9.3 weapon damage, health on it, and armor region there. Uh, we got Walker and Harris, um, you know, knee pads there with 11% of weapon damage, 10.2 crit damage, and 8.5 has protection. Defensive system mod with 8.6 disrupt resistance, a secret mind mod 4.3% damage, a shield mod 4.1% holster regeneration, 
a Firefly mod plus 6.1% of Pascal Haste, and a Decoy mod with 6% of Duration. Alrighty, guys, we're here at the Campus Settlement, so let's take a look. We got the White Dead Marksman Rifle here with the Naked Talent, and Rate of Fire, 3.8%. That's sad. If this one had, like, Determined Talent or this one had uh, Damage Attack out of Cover, that'll be good, but yeah. Uh, oh, we have M7 Carbon with... Ah, oh, this is also not that good. I mean, Health Damage, E1, Damage Attack out of Cover, obviously, and uh, Determined Talent over here. Uh, but uh, yeah, nah, I mean, this weapon is definitely better than White Death. Uh, it, it is actually better than White Death. Uh, we got the Negev LMG with the uh, Stabilized Talon with 14.5 optimal range on it. And with a damage target of cover and maxed out LMG damage. A BA mask with hazard protection 8.5% and 16.2 repair skill. A Sheshka holster here with 8.8 .8 weapon damage, 7.5 explosive resistance and 7.5% 7 of headshot damage. A utility system mod with 8.5% skill duration. A chem launcher mod with 4.3% duration. Hive mod with... Uh, 8.2% of Reviver Armor Pair, uh, uh, Pulse Mod with 14.7% uh, of Health, and a Trap Mod with 5.7% of Duration. Alrighty guys, we're here at the Castle Settlement, so let's take a look. We got the Designated Hida Maximum Rifle with Perfect Reformation Talent. We have uh, Swap Speed here, 12%. Uh, SRA1 Maximum Rifle, okay. Ah, uh, nah. Uh, this would have been, uh, I mean, this is the Maximum Rifle, which is actually better than both the Maximum Rifle before. Uh, but a uh, crit chance and say this, nah, nah. You want, again, damage attack out of cover and determine talent, yeah. So M249B LMG with steady handed talent, 9% of crit damage there. We got the Lengmo mask with the armor region there, 7.9% of headshot damage. Recom industry holster with 14.8 uh, repair skill and 9% of hazard protection. Usually protocol mod with 10.1% uh, of skill haste. Uh, we have the chem launcher mod with plus one ammo, hive mod with 4.1% duration, pulse mod 8.8 .8 radius, and a trap mod with 4.1% of duration. Alrighty, guys, we're here at DC East Vendor, so let's take a look. We got claws out, okay, we got explosive resistance on it. Again, which you can change to whatever you want, uh, you know, uh, claws out, so if you want, you can grab it. It's a wide and rare piece, by the way, so it gives you skill damage for one piece. Uh, we got the SR1 Maximum Rifle here with Sledgehammer and Optimal Range, nah. We have classic M60 LMG with Frenzy Talent, Swap Speed, Land 1.5%, Umra Mask here with 10.2 Weapon Damage, 4.3 Crit Chance, Hardwire Holster with 7.3 Headshot Damage, a Petrov Mask here with 10.4 Weapon Damage, 6% Weapon Handling, and 15.8 Repair Skill, a Wyvern Wear Holster with Crit Damage and Headshot Damage. If you want to make a hybrid build, yeah, you can change the Headshot Damage to Skill Damage, and you can use this holster if you want. We got Utility System Mod with 15.8% Repair Skill, Chem Launcher Mod 4.3% of Damage, Hive Mod 7.7% of Health, uh, pulse mod with 6.4 cone size and a trap charge mod 4.1% of duration and obviously don't forget about your cash exotic cash okay guys we're here at dc south vendor so let's take a look we got the meta door here obviously with the perfect uh, adrenaline rush talent weapon handling they're already present that's nice you can change the skill haste to crit damage crit chance depends on what you need on your build a great backpack gives you bonus armor when you stay close to the enemy so you can actually activate your intimidate talent if you're using on the chest piece so, you know, we'll, we'll make a nice combo there. Uh, and also, it kind of helps you in terms of survivability as well, isn't it? Giving you that bonus armor a little bit. Uh, also, you get weapon damage, damage to armor, and damage to health. It uh, depends on how many pieces of Walker Harris you have. So, yeah, if you don't have one, you can buy it and try it out for yourself. Maybe you'll like it more than, uh, you know, other backpacks. Next, we have the Enhanced AUG 3P uh, SMG with Flatline Talent. We have 6.5 magazine size, maxed out crit chance. 10.6 uh, SMG damage. A Fall Assault Rifle here with Fast Hands Talent, 6% uh, of crit damage there. We got a PX4 uh, Storm Type T Pistol with this finisher talent. We have uh, Stability here, 9%, land point 3 Pistol damage. A Cavalier uh, Backpack with uh, 9.2 ha Hazard Protection. Uh, Heartbreaker Chest Piece with 6% Weapon Handling. A Hasberg uh, Backpack here with Composure Talent, Skill Damage, uh, 5.3, and Hazard Protection, 9.7. Uh, Overload Ornament Chest Piece with Explosive de Delivery Talent with Armor Region here, 6.5 Weapon Handling, 7.7 Weapon Damage. Uh, offensive Protocol Mod with 4.6% of Crit Chance, uh, Drone Mod with 8.3% Health, uh, Turret Mod with 5.7% Duration, Sick Launcher Mod 4.3% of Skill Haste, and obviously your Exotic Cash. Alrighty guys, we're here at DZ West Vendor, so let's take a look. We got Baker's Dozen, okay, I mean, uh, if this vendor doesn't know what to sell, he sells Baker's Dozen, or he sells the 1886 Rifle, you know, the perfect boomerang talent. Uh, and then also backup boomstick. These are the weapons this guy sells a lot. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, this one's, I mean, good. I wouldn't recommend to buy it from DZ Vendor because you can easily get it from Open World. Perfect Lucky Shot is good. It also comes with damage to target cover here, which is also great. Um, so if you really desperately want this, you can buy it if you have enough DZ credit. Otherwise, you can just get it from Open World, so I wouldn't recommend it, you know? 
Uh, we got the uh, M780 shotgun, express shotgun here with pumped up talent, swap speed here, 14.2. Oh, classic M1A with the damage attack that I've covered. Okay, so now things change. So if you want this weapon, uh, if you want it particularly for the talent, then you can buy it. If you don't want it for the talent, you want the weapon, then you should go for this, the classic M1A, because you can change the talent to what you want. Now you can add a damage talent. So, you know, it will obviously do a bit more damage than Baker's Dozen here because of the damage talent. But don't get me wrong, Baker's Dozen with Perfect Lucky Shot is crazy good because you can just spam until you hit something, you know? You basically have unlimited ammo until you hit something, so you can just keep spamming. Uh, but yeah, choose if you want whatever you want, if you want it at all, <laughs> you know? Okay, Umra Initiative uh, gloves here with 10.4 uh, uh, weapon damage, 6 percent weapon handling, hotshot uh, knee pads here with health on it, 9.7 uh, weapon damage, a vibrant red gloves with a 9.7 headshot damage, 8.9 scale haste, a Sokolov knee pads here with, uh, actually, it's not bad, it's not bad. You know, if you want knee pads of Sokolov for SMG damage, crit chance or crit damage, whatever, uh, you can change the weapon handling to crit chance if you needed more crit chance, but I doubt that you need it uh, because on SMG build, you know. Uh, so you could just keep it like this, just maybe optimize, I mean, sorry, recalibrate the crit damage to again crit damage and optimize the rest of them. Uh, yeah. And then we have the defensive protocol mod with 11% operation from melee. Yeah, 11, seriously? Uh, we got a secret mine mod with uh, 4.8 skill haze, uh, shield mod 4.2 deflected damage, firefly mod 8.1 speed, decoy mod 6% duration, and exotic cash. All right, let's go to New York. Alrighty, guys, we're here in New York, Haven Salmon. So let's take a look what Ryminis has got for us. We got converted SMG9 SMG with fast and talent, 9% magazine size on it, classic M44 carbine maximum rifle with bread basket talent, 12.4 swap speed, marine super 90 shotgun preservation talent on it, and 7% damage to target cover, which is yeah, actually not bad. We got M1911 pistol with steady handed talent, 17.7, uh, 17.5 optimal range and 11.1 pistol damage. Uh, wipe and wear uh, chest piece here with glass cannon talent. We got crit chance here, 4.1% and 16.9 repair skill. Uh, Cheshka gloves with 11.8 weapon damage, 4.5% of uh, crit chance and has protection here, 8.4%. Uh, Cheshka mask with 9.1 weapon damage, armor region there, skill haste, 10.2%. Offensive system mod with 7.4% uh, of headshot damage. Offensive protocol mod here with 4.6% uh, uh, of crit chance. A turret mod with 4.1% damage. Uh, secret mine mod. I uh, sorry, not secret. Cam launcher mod with 4.3% of duration. And we have a trap charge mod with 5.8% uh, of shock radius. Alrighty, guys, we're finally at the final vendor. So let's take a look. We got the AUG A3 uh, assault rifle here with insane talent. Swap speed here to 11.4%. We get the Socom MK20 SSR Maximum Rifle here with the Determined Talent with Rate of Fire 3.2%, Max Lord uh, Headshot Damage there. Uh, military M870 Shotgun with Eyeless Talent, 7% uh, of Crit Damage on it. Officers M9A1 Pistol with Optimist Talent, 7% of Crit Damage, 10.8 Pistol Damage. A UG Backpack here with Protected Talent, has a Protection 9%, 10.8 Skill Haste. And you have the Steelworks Gloves here with Armor Region on it, 7% of Weapon Handling. A Badge of Holster with 10.1 Crit Damage, 6.1 Weapon Handling. Defensive System Mod with 8.5 Shock Resistance. Defensive Protocol Mod with 8.6% Disrupt Resistance. Uh, turret Mod here with plus 1 extra uh, Motor Ammo. Uh, Firefly Mod with 7.8% of uh, Speed. Uh, Sticky Launcher Mod with 6.3% of, uh, of Duration. So that's it for Weekly Vendor, guys. I would say the Vendor is kind of, I mean... It's not that great uh, compared to the past few weeks, I would say. If you're a new player, yeah, there are things that you can definitely purchase. Uh, otherwise, you could just uh, buy them and put it on your uh, you know, expertise system and stuff to level them up. So you could do that. So that's basically for the video. Hope you guys will find what you're looking for. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.